Down for a late night snack. The director of the Butcher, the Chef, and the Swordsman, Wu'er Shan. So, at the end credits, it said that it was based on a, on a uh, short story. Can you tell us a little bit about the origin of the story? Uh 20是跟原來的故事有關係。Um, I found this story when I was writing another script, also a knife related story. And um, and so one of my um, um, filmmaker friends um, recommended this, this story to me and I found it in a, a pulpy magazine. Um, and uh, and so I, I really like the story so I found the right to it. Um, but there have been many revisions to the script. So now the version that you saw maybe only had 20%, um, you know, same as the original story, but you know, the rest of it, I've, I've kind of made changes to it. What can you tell us about the actor who plays the butcher? He's fantastic. <laughs> Uh So the actor that played the butcher, he's actually a director himself. Um, he graduated from one of the best drama schools in China. Actually, he was in the same, same class as Zhang Ziyi, and um, you know, one of the famous actresses uh, from China. And he and the two friends, the two actors that played his friends in the, in the, in the film, they were in a stage play together, a very um, popular, a very well-known stage play in, in China that had played more than 500 um, 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 you know, productions. I really like that play, the play I mentioned. Well, roughly translated into English is Life of Two Dogs. Um, so, because I like it so much, I, I watched it four times, so I invited them to, uh, to play the characters in my movie. Um, in the movie, he's extremely ugly, as you can see, but his true self is quite handsome, and he just recently got married this year. So before I ask the audience for questions, I want to know, what is your favorite kind of food? Because I'm a Mongolian, so my favorite food is meat. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have any questions from the audience here? Yes. In China, are there cooking shows like we have here in North America? That one scene where Carol is sending the dishes seems like Tom Chef. Yeah, 
主持人没有我们这个厨师这么帅。Yes, there are such shows in China. Um, a lot of housewives watch such shows. Um, the only difference is, you know, the the hosts in, in those shows in China are not as um, not as handsome as this one. Do we have anyone else here? Yes. The question is uh, about the egg horse dish and whether there is such a fabulous feast. This eight dishes are all from China. Because in China, it's a popular country, so we make the dishes in a very beautiful way. So if you understand Chinese, these eight dishes have a very beautiful name. Um, the eight courses are made up uh, because you know China is such a poetic nation. Um, so we made up beautiful names, um, really lyrical names of the courses uh, for them. So if you understand Chinese, you'll find a wow it's like a poem. Yes. was about the uh, the 20 percent uh, which came from the story basically how you got the inspiration for the other 80 percent right mm-hmm 而且它的结构变成现在这样，一个故事里面有一个故事，里面又有一个故事，嗯，这是结构上最大的变化。So originally in the in the short story there were four stories, and the way it was presented was one one man um telling three stories to other people. So that him telling the story became the fourth story. So the biggest change in the structure is how I did um, uh, what I did in the movie is to have a story within a story. So that's the biggest structural change. Because I think three stories are quite interesting. Because the three stories, one is about a dishonest butcher. Another story is about a man who loves a beautiful woman. 他们三个已经形成了一个很有意思的主题，所以我就删掉了另外一个故事。So um, I I only kept three stories in this version because I, I I thought that three stories itself was interesting enough because we have a vain swordsman and a vengeful um, chef and a butcher that loves someone that he really it's really out of his league. So I found that a very interesting trio. So I just deleted the fourth layer. 而且我们都看过很多结构比较特殊的电影，但是我是希望我自己的电影能有一个全新的结构。这个结构是没有人拍过的，而且又符合这个电影的主题，所以我就用了这个呃故事里面有故事，再有一个故事这样的结构。
and then um, a rooster story, and then it, it came full circle back to the pig story. So that's the structure of the movie is presented in. And also, the three um, animal symbols in Tibetan Buddhism actually have uh, symbolism. So they represent, respectively, greed, uh, um, revenge, as well as um, stupidity. So it, um, it, it's just perfect. <laughs> 对，所以因为我喜欢的电影是比较，呃，可以多层解读的，所以最深层的意义在这个层面。但是我希望大家看到一个好玩的故事，看起来很开心就够了。My favorite type of films tend to be multi-layered. Um, they can be, you know, they have many different angles. But I also want to make a fun movie to entertain everybody. So, um, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. We've got time here for uh, one last question. Yes. They're going to be a what should the shadow source been video game? Cookbook <laughs> and a video game, I think, yeah. is what this one means. Then we shall know you. Can I tell you what you should have gone to that job? Wow, just me here thinking about it, it's just daydreaming. I need to find some sponsors. Do you guys know any game gamers? Game shops? Everybody's, you know, I, I, I welcome new ideas. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Tina. All right, we hope to see you for Snakeland and then Fire of Conscience. And make sure you check out the Midnight Madness blog because we've got lots of behind the scenes stuff there. And uh, yes, I think there's a few places in Chinatown which are still open. <laughs> <laughs>